Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, layout in uh, Timelift. So if you have seen my previous uh, video, Spring ABC with Timelift, I'm going to be using this project. Uh, we are only going to be changing uh, two files, uh, actually adding one file and changing one file. So yeah, let's get started. So this is the project. Uh, all you need to do is add in the template file. So let's add the template file. So you can add it in a directory or in the web app folder. Let's give it a name root layout. Okay, so next we're going to add the namespace. So this is th namespace. Uh, if you're using a time lift uh, uh, attribute of th, then you can use it. Uh, if not, then don't. But the important part is this one. Uh, and next, you just add the section of your layout body. Uh, suppose you have a header. Uh, this is header, then your footer, so this is footer, and finally your content. So this is going to be an empty div. Uh, you can give it any, or you need to add this layout tag over here. and give it any name, maybe page content. And that's it over here. So whatever you put over here doesn't matter, it's not going to be showing in your uh, child base, in this case it's home. So let's look at the root layout, it's in the layouts folder. Uh, this is the layout file and now let's go to the home. Uh, add the namespace over here as well. So again, you're not going to be needing all this for this video. Uh, you just need the layout and a decorator. So here is the way you put your uh, folder name. In this case, we put it in layouts folder. So let's skip the name. And the file name is root underscore layout. Okay, that's pretty much it. Next, all you need to do is add a div uh, having the same uh, name. Layout fragment, what was the page content? This is child page content. Okay, that's it. Uh, now let's run this and see what happens. So we are having problem. The root layout. Let's see what happened. Okay, the problem is with the meta tag. Uh, so you just remove that and it should work. Uh, in time leaf, you can't uh, create just open bracket and don't end it. So for some reason, it doesn't allow that. So now just redeploy and you should be good to go. And there you go. So yeah, that's it guys. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any queries, uh, feel free to ask in the comment below. I'll be posting uh, the code in the GitHub. So see that link in the description below. Thank you.